welcome in my beautiful Capricorns. This is going to be an end of July reading for my Capricorn Sun Moon Rising or Venus. Do take messages as they resonate with you and your situation only. Y'all already know to dismiss anything that's not for you, honey. Okay, send it out. If it ain't for you, let it fly. Um, you guys do like, share, comment, subscribe. And I do want to send a special shout out to all of my returning subscribers, my day one subscribers. If you are a yesterday subscriber, it doesn't matter. I'm sending you guys all love and light. I appreciate you all so much, okay? So let's get in Capricorns and see what you have coming in. We do have a um, new moon in Cancer, July the 20th. So a lot of you guys are gonna be feeling that just because Cancer is your opposite sign. So it is gonna affect you guys. Um, so you could probably feel that shift. But let's see what you guys have coming in. My Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? So you guys got two cards. Everyone else got one, so that's dope. We have a step out of your comfort zone that came out and hold your vision. Love this. All right, and then bottom of the deck, moon and Taurus. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Taurus or you can have a moon in Taurus, but this is telling you that prosperity lies ahead. I love this. Okay, so Capricorn. So this is immediately telling me that you guys are in a space where Either you have already started doing this or you've been thinking about really stepping outside of your comfort zone, okay? So this could be trying new things, anywhere from like changing your hair, you know, thinking about changing your job, changing your clothes, the way that you dress. Um, it's just something that you guys are really, really doing. And I feel like whatever this is, you've been very, very persistent, okay? Or you're being encouraged to. That's why we have hold your vision, fixed moon. And this is so um, interesting because Taurus is a fixed sign. Taurus is very, very um, persevering and dedicated, persistent. When Taurus is set their mind to something, baby, that's it, okay? It's like, it's, it's no shaking that. Taurus is solid and all about stability. Um, so whatever it is that you guys are, you know, wanting to do, it's something that you're wanting to do or try or that you have been doing that's outside of like your original comfort zone, Spirit is saying, hold your vision, hold that down, continue to do that. For others of you, this is a period where you're being encouraged to step outside of your comfort zone with the North Node. I mean, you guys will have to look at your chart to see where your North, what sign your North Node falls in, but this is all about reaching your highest potential, reaching your, your full potential okay and that normally comes outside of that comfort zone so definitely step outside of your comfort zone i was getting for you guys capricorns intuitively that some of you guys are um all in your head at this time about like your insecurities or you could just really be thinking about like how to kind of counteract your insecurities or you know face like facing your fears type of thing but let's see let's, um why is this step out of your comfort zone here Wow, this is so powerful. Okay, we have a follow your dreams. This came out in um, Aries. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries or you can have that in your chart. But this is telling you to step out of your comfort zone and follow your dreams, okay? In order for you to guys to really be able to pursue what you want to do and be your best self when it comes to doing this, it's going to require you to step out of your comfort zone. For some of you guys, we have spiritual partnership. There's a partnership that could be coming in that's going to truly help you to get out of your comfort zone or it's going to truly help you to follow your dreams, okay? And why is the hold your vision here? Wow. Rebirth. I knew it. Okay, so definitely getting a lot of Scorpio energy. But this is just saying with this hold your um, vision, a lot of you guys have been going through this huge transformation and like i said this is not only just um you guys changing like things on the outside your appearance like your hair what you're wearing um you know what you're interested in the people that you date it's like you're changing on an internal level and as a result i feel like you guys are being more open to stepping out of your comfort zone okay for some of you guys this is going to come in regards to love it's like you're opening up your heart and this is coming again after a huge rebirth okay so it's like when you go through a transformation normally all the old gotta go so it's like it's a lot of breaking down to be built back up so this is powerful capricorns let's see what you guys have coming in 
These cards are so hard for me to shuffle for some reason. And I love this deck, but I've been struggling. All right, so let's see. Prosperity lies ahead. Ooh, I knew it. Y'all, let me just say this. Okay, I think that flipped out last. The tower was the first one to come out, and that's what this rebirth is. Like I said, y'all had something that happened in the past that just, it tore that whole building down. The tower talks about a major um, disruption, okay? Disruption, this could be a disruption to your um, environment, disruption to your relationship, a disruption to your life in some way. But whatever this was, it's because it was a major change that was needed. Something wasn't built on a solid foundation. Something wasn't stable. Something wasn't going to be able to withstand too many more storms. So Spirit went ahead and, you know, brought this down so you guys can be rebuilt. And look what's here. Ace of Pentacles. I love it. Because this is this prosperity that Spirit is telling you lies ahead. This is that prosperity coming in. This is that prosperity coming in that you guys have been working so hard for, that you've been so dedicated towards, okay? And um, we have the Empress here. This is Libra Taurus energy with the Nine of Wands. That's fitting. I get it. So you guys are about to be, um, some of you guys may be dealing with the Libra, maybe Taurus, maybe you have that in your chart. But the Empress is a very abundant and beautiful energy. Just look how she is sitting. Like baby girl is over here sitting pretty. Okay, so this could be your energy, this could be your person's energy, but this is just saying that you guys are very, very, you're in a very abundant space right now, whether you realize it or not. The Empress is the Divine Feminine. So this is about um, beauty. This is about attracting. This is about your sacral chakra, okay? So this is about manifesting, um, having the ability to attract what you need to you instead of putting in all of the physical labor and being so... Stuck in the masculine energy, Capricorns, y'all can push, 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 push. Regardless of how feminine you are, um, when it comes to the masculine energy, this is all about logic. This is all about tangible resources. This is all about things that you can see. And you guys have been in that kind of energy for a long time. And I feel like with this rebirth, you have been transforming. And it's like you're embracing this feminine energy, not just on the outside, but more so in the terms of your heart in regards to love receiving love giving love knowing that you are worthy of love and attracting that into your lives instead of persistently feeling like you have to do so much to to have it so i love this already because that just went deep some of you guys could be dealing with the pisces okay the initials b or j could be significant others of you um this is all about your intuition so this is about trusting your intuition trusting what you're doing trust in the fact that you guys are wanting to do new things and you know really standing in that knowing that it's going to breed a good outcome for you okay otherwise you wouldn't have been guided to it justice fell out some of you guys may be dealing with the libra or you can have that in your chart but let's see with this ace of pentacles again this is a new opportunity that's coming in like straight from spirit okay so this could be a new car a new job a big huge uh, promotion a huge check huge bonus um something is coming in wow i just seen ace of pentacles again now capricorns this is powerful all right so yep the high priestess came out all right so this is telling me that whatever this is this is kind of similar to cancer's reading so some of you guys may be dealing with the cancer or you can have like that energy heavy in your chart but the high priestess is about knowing and this is not about a outer knowing like, oh, you're receiving tangible, solid, you know, um, what they call receipts, <laughs> you know, for things. This is about having that inner knowing, having that inner knowledge. This is about your intuition, those gut feelings, your dreams, just being, you know, having these revelations, but more so knowing. All right, so it's something that you guys, you know, you can feel. Even if you can't see it, you can feel it. Some of you guys may have a Pisces that's offering something to you. Strong Pisces energy. The Hangman and the Queen of Cups here. Okay, as well as Scorpio Cancer, but heavy Pisces. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Pisces. But this is also telling me that you guys are in a space where I feel like after having a lot of blockages emotionally, it's like you're finally opening yourselves up to an opportunity. With this Queen of Cups, it's like you guys could have been walking around and portraying that you didn't have a lot of feelings and emotions 
that you did and what was happening people was picking up on this but at the same time with this king of swords this was like your exterior libra aquarius gemini this was like you know you've been in a space where you're saying you're only entertaining now um facts and you know being so not necessarily cold but kind of being detached emotionally but you've got a, you have a lot of feelings you have a lot of feelings you have a lot of um feelings emotions and these are something that you cannot hide some of you guys it's like maybe this is someone's energy towards you we have the queen of wands here so some of you guys have an opportunity coming in okay and um Mm, let's clarify this queen of wands here because y'all got two queens so i'm strongly feeling like whoever you guys are dealing with capricorn they're not in a, a masculine energy right now either all right so let's see why is the queen of wands here the lover some of you guys are dealing with the gemini your person has it in their chart but what this is telling me is that you guys have definitely had some blockages Okay, when it comes to trusting your intuition, when it comes to being in tune with that divine feminine energy. And now you guys are finally opening yourselves up with this queen of wands. This is telling me you're feeling a little bit more confident. You're feeling a little bit more sure of taking calculated risks. And for some of you guys, I feel like you have someone that you have been like dating or talking to, investing in emotionally. Um, maybe even sexually with the queen of wands and the lovers. It could be great sex between you guys. But I feel like someone wants to, like, take something to the next level. All right, let's see. I feel like you guys are going to have to choose, though. It's like you're going to have to make a decision. And whoever this person is, they're letting you choose. Yep, look at this. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. This couldn't be any clearer. Whoever you guys are with, it's like you guys have a lot of love, a lot of chemistry. It's a lot of passion here. It's good sex. It's like it's definitely very, very intense connection. Some of you guys were brought to this person for a reason. And with this four of wands, it's like someone wants to go into something solid, something stable with you. So this could be marriage. This could be a serious committed relationship. This can be you guys deciding to move in with someone. I feel like there's just an opportunity that's coming in for you guys. And it's not even just going to be with, with love. But I feel like just you being open again in general. Your confidence. All right, let's see what the tower was. This was something in the past that just like completely shook y'all, shook y'all up. We have the star here and then we have the ten of wands. So I feel like whatever happened in the past for you guys, it was really, really hard for you guys to get over this. It was hard for you guys to heal. It was hard for you guys to kind of have hope in this situation. Some of you guys may be dealing with an Aquarius, but I feel like you guys found that, sh that light. You know, you found the hope somewhere in this situation to kind of, you know, get out of the energy. And to kind of open yourselves up to heal your, your feminine energy. Yep. The four of wands came back out in the five of cups. For some of you guys, this was a relationship or a serious commitment that didn't work out. And it was something that was shocking to you guys. For some of you guys with this seven of cups, it could have put you in a space of like being emotionally confused or just not knowing like what you truly want. For others of you, this could have been someone that just had, you know, options. But it's like you guys are past that energy. And now with this Ace of Pentacles, you guys have like something amazing that's coming in. Like you're being divinely guided to like a partnership. Yep. The Fool here and the Magician. Wow. With the Page of Wands. So Capricorn, someone wants to take a leap of faith with you. Like someone wants to just do something completely new exciting like someone wants you to be able to wipe the slate clean and go after what you want for some of you guys this is a challenge like opening yourselves up to something new and i feel like you guys are going to do it like you are going to give either this person a chance this job a chance whatever this opportunity is for some of you guys it's like look how she's looking it's like you don't trust it it's like you, you you're gonna do it you're gonna be like all right i don't you know i don't see but i don't feel like you truly trust it just because of you know what you've been through in the past but you guys need to know that like you've healed from that you have king of wands here and then the sun with the um king of swords here so some of you guys may be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius but what this is telling me is like whoever this person is even though they know you're guarded or this could be you someone is stepping up and like they're wanting to pursue you they feel like they can make you happy regardless of like this this guard that you have up this person has decided like you're their person or like they want you to be in their future 
And yeah, whoever this person is, I feel like they know that it's going to be hard because you dealt with some lies and manipulation in the past. They know that. But they also see like how you're changing. So that's why I feel like the hold your vision is here too because whoever this person is like, they genuinely love you Capricorn. It's like their vision of you is not changing. Okay, whoever this person is, they have their mind fixed on something and they're not giving that up. All right, so let's see what this, um, wow. Step, wait, follow your dreams, I'm sorry. I have three cards that came out. Okay, let's shuffle one more time. Why is the follow your dreams here? Gratitude. Okay, this says, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. And then grief, ooh. Okay, so this says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So opportunity is here on both of these cards. And what I'm feeling like with this, follow your dreams, step out of your comfort zone. For some of you guys, someone is grieving because they could have lost you from a past situation. Or for some of you guys, you were grieving because of a situation that, you know, something happened that you were, you were definitely sad about. Like I said, it took a while for you to heal from it. But at the same time, it was an opportunity for you to learn. And because you guys have learned the lesson, you have something new that's coming in. It's like you went through this big, huge transformation. And Spirit is telling you guys to hold your vision. See yourself in this Empress energy, okay? Because that's where you are now. Let's see what this hold your vision is about. Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth and then imagination here. Yeah, so some of you guys with this guilt here, um, this hold your vision in rebirth. We're actually clarifying rebirth. I said hold your vision, but the rebirth is what I was looking at. Um, like I said, you've been through a transformation and I feel like it's some guilt, whether this is on your end or someone else's and someone is working on releasing that guilt. Someone is working on releasing that guilt and moving on with an open heart. And I feel like whatever this is, you guys are definitely going to be, you know, you're going to have some um, happiness that's coming in. So follow your dreams. All right, let's see what your angel message is, Capricorn. Oh, yes, yeah, it's 20 minutes in. Okay, I've got three. We only want one. What's the message for my Capricorn? Okay. So, wow, Capricorn, this is powerful. So we have words of abundance on the bottom of the deck, but I want you guys to see what came up. So we have let go of guilt twice. Okay, so this says, when you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourselves for them. So for some of you guys, it's been really hard to move past this guilt. But this is Spirit telling you to let go of that guilt and follow your dreams. This guilt is weighing you down. All right. So this is what I have um, for you, my beautiful Capricorns. If you did enjoy your reading, do like, share, comment, subscribe. Till next time, sending you all love and light. Bye.